This is one of my favorite trails and it's called Big Little Skip Survivor. Similar to the other Skip Survivor, we're going to initiate with a dodge and then have a slide decision. Then we're going to skip it up top, dodge, and have a second round of slides. Unlike the other Skip Survivor, this drill is done live. Due to the fact that we've got a short stick either dodging or picking in this scenario, it puts great stress on the defense and gives D3 a chance to learn how to make slide decisions and for SS2, our second slider, to be able to be on the same page with that slide decision, meaning do I get in and help and surround the crease or am I going to have to fully collapse on it? Finally, when the ball skips up, it makes a, for a very difficult approach for short stick two and it helps us practice the immediate slide that occurs with fast ball movement and skip passes in particular. New roles and responsibilities are going to have to be understood and processed very quickly because sometimes when the ball kicks up it might be D3 getting back to his man and sliding or it might be the defender who was slid to and they might be in the middle of a fine one situation immediately into a sliding situation. I have this crease of dotted lines so that our X3 will just stay inside for this drill while the ball's behind. We don't want them floating all over the place. We want them to be a crease man. We got to have X4 weight outside the box. He's going to have a tendency to want to move down into a shooting spot, which is realistically what he would do you know, in a four-on-four -four situation. But if he's to move down into these shooting spots, then we won't get the second round of slides. D1 is guarding X1, and short stick one is guarding X2. We've got a crease man that we're going to have stay inside on this crease, and we've got a top dodger that's going to dodge when the ball kicks up top. So we initiate with a big little situation. We're going to have to execute great pick communication. And because it's a big little situation, it's very likely that D2 is going to have to slide, either because a short stick ends up attacking or because the defender gets picked off. And this is an amazing drill for D2 to have to be able to make a great slide decision as well as for short stick two to have to get into a second slide position. Let's just say that um, D1 gets uh, picked off and SS2 has to switch and this is a really bad matchup. So all of a sudden we're going to get a slide opportunity on X1 because short stick 2 is, is getting beat and it's a bad matchup for us and short stick 2 has to get down and make the second slide and then we're going to throw the ball up to X4. So we have to slide with D2 and we're going to have to figure out what that communication is going to look like on that slide and recover or on the double team. So let's just say we slide early and we say find one, find one, find one. And X1 is going to kick the ball up to X4. And, and D2 is going to have to collapse back in as fast as he can. Then when X4 gets the ball, short stick 2 is going to have to make a really tough approach. And we don't know who the slider is going to be. It sort of depends on what happens with the slide and recovery. But oftentimes, it's short stick one sprinting back in that becomes the slider. And because this is a tough approach and it's a short stick, there's going to be a dodge right away. And oftentimes, short stick one, D2 slides to short stick one and says, Jamie, find one, find one. And this guy, without even breaking stride, is right back into a slide position. D2 has made his way in, 
and oftentimes he'll end up being the second slide onto X3. Here's another scenario that might happen. X1 dodges, D1 goes under, and there's no need for a slide. And as we bounce it out and kick it up, D3's role of sliding to this attack or potential big little situation turns into him reading this approach and this dodge here. SS1 would still have to bust his tail to get back in. After the pass kicks up, D1 would be getting back in and we would have a slide and recover situation with a short stick here against X4. Big Little Skip Survivor is one of my favorite drills because it's really great for both sides of the ball. Obviously it's a great live situation for your offense to work on your big little abilities and it's also a great way for your defense to work on the way you want to play your big little defensively. The slide decisions that go into D3 recognizing do I have to go or not are critical and you have to rep that out. That's why I, one of the reasons why I love this drill. But it's also huge for S2 to be recognizing he has to make the same decision that D3 is making. He has to decide, do I need to fully collapse on this or can I just kind of help? Because when he gets all the way down, it's going to make it a near impossible approach for SS2 to get all the way down and get back up. So he needs to really make the same decision that D3 is making as to whether he needs to go or not. Whoever ends up on the ball, it could be D1 getting underneath this pick or it could be SS1 switching onto the pick. The, the other man has got to get in quickly and guard the back side of the crease as quick as possible. And that's a fundamental that has to happen in any of your two-man game behind the net. And the last thing is, is the second round of slides. When the ball kicks up to X4 and SS2 is making this approach, if it is a really challenging long approach, you can guarantee you're going to need an instant slide. Another communication note is that when we do dodge and the ball goes up, we're going to get a skip pass call because we know that when there's a skip pass, there's a 95% chance that we're going to have to go. A skip pass is deadly for the defense because it's going to mean a really difficult approach for the sagging in backside man. So everybody will be calling skip, 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 and we're going to have to slide almost immediately to that difficult approach. We've got all kinds of pick communications going on. We've got communication between the slider and the man on the ball, both during the course of the dodge and during the course of the slide and recovery. We've got communication between SS2 and D3. You can go, I've got your two. We've got communication on the skip pass. Then we're going to have communication on the next round of sliding, which is going to happen really quickly. You're seeing us initiate essentially with an attackman, with a pull on him, and pick with a midi. But it is absolutely fine to start a midi, a short stick on the ball, and pick with a pull. It's going to happen in games, and it's really important that D3 on the crease has the opportunity to be reading the play and recognizing if there's a short on the ball to begin with or if a short is picking it. And his slide decisions are going to be critical that way as well. So um, mixing up how you do that is okay. I hope you have enjoyed this drill. I think it's really one of the best. And uh, here are some live clips to check it out.